I'm gonna <clears throat> play with uh, the reg test um, mode of the, the Bitcoin client. You can see that I have it, it running here um, on the server. And yeah, it's running as a process 91331. So what I wanna do is practice making transactions and tracking down transactions and things like that. Um, my ultimate goal is to play around with actually making valid transactions, some that are of like unusual type maybe. What I would like is for eventually us to be able to create a Bitcoin transaction of sort of any form that doesn't depend on some particular piece of software, we should be able to do that ourselves. So I just want to work toward understanding Bitcoin transactions to that level. Um, so the reg test is sort of like test net. It's a, a test environment for Bitcoin, but the blockchain, the reg, the reg test blockchain is completely on our machine. It has nothing to do with other peers. So it's like our computer was the entire Bitcoin universe. Um, so I can kill this and restart it. Okay, so I'm in uh, I'm in my my dot Bitcoin folder. I don't know if you if you're running your own client, then you should have a folder like this too. But if you're just using our server, then you you might not. In fact, you don't. The but you can come look at mine. It's in my directory. Um, so there was an old reg test folder, but I moved it. Um, now let me run reg test. And uh, reg test and run it in the background as a daemon. And it's starting. And I still don't have a reg test directory in here. Oh, I do. Sorry. See, it was just created here, reg test. Um, right now, it doesn't have any blocks in it. Um, but I can, I can mine some blocks. So Bitcoin, Cli. <coughs> you work with reg test just by by doing dash uh, reg test before everything so all the ordinary commands work that's why I have my cheat sheet open over here this is just um, that's just asking for help from the Bitcoin client um, program so reg test I can do get blockchain info and it tells me that um, how many blocks are there? So, so far there are zero blocks. And this is, the difficulty is very small. And these are various Bitcoin BIPs that have not gone into production yet. We haven't talked about how these like uh, BIP9 soft forks work. But basically, once a majority of miners start signaling for support for these ideas, they eventually lock in. And then after they lock in, after 216, or 2016 blocks, they become permanent. So I guess the point of what I'm saying is that on reg test, SegWit is not activated yet. Um, all right, so let's mine some blocks. By the way, I'm just reading right now from Mastering Bitcoin in uh, chapter nine on page 211. So reg test, <coughs> generate, let's generate 20 blocks. I misspelled uh, Bitcoin Cli. All right, so there are 20 blocks and I could do um, Bitcoin Cli get block from the hash. So this is a hash of the block header. Right? No, crap. Oh, sorry, it's because I forgot to do reg test. I know this is like the most boring video of all time. So here is that block. Notice that there's only one transaction in that block, which is the Coinbase transaction. So let's look at the uh, Coinbase transaction. And can I just relax about boring the hell out of you? I guess life is just boring. Um, I'm going to decode the raw transaction. I'm assuming that you're sort of like playing along at home, which will make it less boring. 
and let's see what happened in here. So this is uh, just a Coinbase transaction. And right now the Coinbase reward is uh, 50 Bitcoins and it gets paid to this address, which is one of the addresses associated with my wallet. Notice that it begins with an N because it's a, it's a regnet address, not a regular net address. And the, uh, the output is op return, which is unspendable with value zero. Um, they're just, I guess there has to be an output, <laughs> but um, there's, uh, there's no reason to have a tra transaction output in a Coinbase transaction. Hello, honey. Oh, Dada jump you. Okay, I'm going to pause the video for a second. I'm back. And uh, I noticed that, yeah, of course it has a V out. I was, I was crazy before. So this is the V out that goes to the, uh, the miner. And um, this is one of our Bitcoin addresses. And I'm not sure why it does this. Is this some rude statement about like uh, non-libertarian economics or something if we decoded it? I, uh, I don't know, it's an interesting question. So <clears throat> let's now look at uh, how much money we have. So let's go back to the, uh, the wallet. And what can we do? We can, we can uh, get our balance. So Bitcoin, Cly, reg test, get balance. And right now we have zero. Oh, do you know why? Do you know why it's, uh, maybe you, maybe we didn't talk about this, but look, we've only generated 20 blocks. And um, I don't know if I mentioned this in class yet, but Coinbase rewards don't become spendable until they have 100 confirmations. So we have to go out to um, to make 81 more blocks. And now let's see what our balance is. 50. <laughs> and it's 50 because the very first Coinbase reward is now spendable. Um, we can get unconfirmed balance. Let's see what happens if we do that. Um, Bitcoin, Cly, reg test, get unconfirmed balance. Ah, okay, so those Coinbase rewards that we're waiting on don't um, don't count as unconfirmed transactions. So let's look at our our keys. I don't I haven't figured out how to create an address or anything like that, but um, one of these. Sorry that I have to look through this. How about um, get wallet info? Okay, and here's the master key ID, but it doesn't show us any addresses, but there is a way to see our addresses. Um, list address groupings, I think is the one. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, there they are. So we have two Bitcoin addresses here. One of them has 50, um, Bitcoin associated with it. And we can dump the private key for that address. So we'll do Bitcoin Cly uh, reg test dump private key. And then we'll put in this address. It's frustrating when this, I don't know if, you, if you're using Linux, but the, the middle button on the mouse should paste. There it goes. Okay. All right. So that is the, the private key encoded in base 58. So now we should be able to do some fun things like, um, you know, sign, sign transactions and, and create kind of arbitrary Bitcoin transactions. And uh, I'm going to stop this video and figure out how to do that and then make a video on that.